the remains of London snow, this is what you get. You get black sludge. There are some white bits over here. How many days ago did it snow now, honey? Sorry? When did it snow? Five days ago. Uh, it snowed on Sunday. And it's Friday? Yeah. It snowed, so yeah, five days ago. Five days, yeah. Should we go for it? Yeah. This shows how cold London's been. It's actually minus three today. And the canal is completely frozen over. It's nice before Christmas to see this. This is very, very rare in England, but especially in London. Like I think, you know, some parts of Britain will get snow in December, but for London, this is super rare. It probably hasn't snowed in London in December since Alan and I were children. And it is, is it freezing. Probably on, in December, the last snow day of probably when we were children. No, remember when we went to Austria, it snowed. Was that in December? That was in December. And remember, we had our flight was delayed because it was like... A bit of snow. A bit of snow. But, that, but it wasn't like a, this much, was it? Was, it? And remember, we got a taxi back to your house and then... Do you remember that? Did I hit my head? Yeah, you hit the taxi, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me and Alan are having a reminiscent moment. That trip he was talking about was for our one year anniversary. 2020, 2010. 2010. That's funny. Yeah, we we got in a taxi at Oxford Street yeah. and then I hit my head and I was so tired. Yeah. You can see, oh my camera's really dirty. You can see just how bundled up we both are. It's so cold. I've got my wedding coat on it's, today. You know, have you had a um, plant, shakeyourplants.com? No. I haven't got a voucher for something, like a leaflet. Um, I need to try not to slip because some parts are a bit icy. But yeah, I've got my wedding coat on today, bundled up to the brim, and it's actually mine and Alan's three year wedding anniversary. Which, like everything is this year, is difficult because last year for our anniversary, I actually vlogged it. I'll put it in the description box below. I really like that vlog. We went to Sketch for afternoon tea. So we are in Sketch today for our anniversary it's our two-year wedding anniversary which has flown by um, and yeah we're at sketch i've brought you guys here before um and i decided to wear my polka dot dress mainly because it fits <laughs> literally there's so much room for me to grow in this it's perfect and i was nearly six months pregnant with olive i think i was like five and a half months pregnant with olive and we spent the whole lunch, well, the whole afternoon tea talking about how for our next anniversary she'll be with us. So all those things, we're just now playing out all those things that we said we were gonna do with Olive. It's very difficult, but we're doing our best for her. We've taken ourselves out. We're in Cold Drop Shard in King's Cross. We're gonna go to Dishoom for lunch, which is where we had our wedding lunch. We couldn't really decide what to do today. We've changed our minds on what to do today, at least six or seven times last night we thought today we would end up going actually to borough market like that was yesterday's plan for today was to go to borough market but then we saw it's minus three and borough market's all outdoors so this morning we talked about it we're like let's go to Dishoom and we can also walk around King's Cross for a bit so in about an hour and a half we've got a reservation for lunch at Dishoom which like I said is where we had our wedding lunch amazing food so delicious it's a chain of restaurants but I promise you it's worth the hype. The food is delicious. Definitely a must try if you're in London. Um, until then, we're just gonna kind of look around. When we left our house today, a woman walked past us with a massive panda balloon. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I talk about it more there. But pandas are a big sign for us with Olive because when she was, when she was in my tummy, the way she kind of rolled around reminded me of like a panda bear, like a little baby panda bear. Um, so pandas are very special. I have spoken about that on here actually in a couple vlogs. And then we saw someone with a massive panda balloon. It's so random. And when things are that random, they're not random. They are signs and messages. And she's just saying, I'm with you, mommy and daddy. So that made us both smile and we're holding on to that for today. So today is the day the schools break up, so from next week it will start being much busier everywhere. 
Um, I don't think I'm going to upload this video till early January, but it's just mid-December at the moment. You can see the big Christmas tree over there, and it's really not busy here at all. It's midday on a Friday, and it's lovely. And again, this place, I've vlogged here so many times before, so you can go back through my channel and look at other King's Cross vlogs we've got. It's just a whole shopping area, lots of restaurants, but I think we're going to pop into um, MHL. Yeah, should we look around and then go Let's to... I also want to look in Ashton and Mew. I do like their jewellery. More piles of snow. The remainder of it. Came in the cos changing room and I found a great dress. Cos have a really good sale on at the moment, but unless I upload this vlog on Christmas Day, you're not going to see it until after Christmas, but they might still have sale. But I found this dress really comfy and flowy it's obviously for like spring summer time it's got pockets it has a tie waist but the tie waists never look good on me so i just let it kind of hang and flow and this is 89 pounds i think it's 89 i got another one here because i wasn't sure what size to get um and it's 60 percent off and it's yeah it's 89 pounds with 60 percent off so I think this might be my Christmas present from Alan. Obviously it's so cold right now, I'm not gonna be able to wear it for a while. Um, and I didn't bother taking my jeans off. But these kind of dresses in the summer, it's linen. Um, I think it's either linen or cotton, it feels quite thick. Please ignore my nails, they're really bad. Um, but this kind of material where it's just so flowy is perfect for summer. Just really comfortable, really flowy, with like a tote bag and Birkenstocks. Can't go wrong, and I never know what to wear in the summer. This neckline is quite different for me. Normally, I always like to have things a bit more kind of round neck, but I quite like it. Um, I've just tied up my hair to see how it looks with my hair up, because I'm thinking of growing my hair. You can see it's grown quite a bit, but it looks nice up. It looks nice down. It's really flat from my hat. Um, I think I'm gonna get this dress, it's quite nice. And 60% off is so good. I haven't been to a cos in so long, I've bought some really nice things this year. Look how cozy this knit set is. I think this is men's. Alan's found a scarf that he's trying on. It's a really beautiful kind of like brownie, like a really warm toned brown color. So I might get him that for Christmas if he likes it. And then he's gonna get me my dress. And then that's our Christmas sorted for each other it's gorgeous yeah this is the scarf it's so nice look how beautiful the color is alan ties his scarves in this like pretzel way yeah i like this this is really nice do you want to honey you want to think should we, we can always pop back after lunch do you want to think about it yeah it's really soft it is really soft it's so beautiful gonna be able to hear me there's quite loud music in here I haven't come across a perfume brand for years that has kind of taken my interest um, but we've just come across this we're in Earl of East Timothy Han apparently these two are based with essential oils mainly and this one's perfume and they smell really good I can't really describe them it's a bit too busy in here my mind's not quite there but if you ever come across this brand Timothy Han and you're into perfume and niche perfume have a smell of them this one I really like I haven't smelled this one yet let me try that one okay this one smells like a burning fire like a really rich burning fire how would you describe that one okay I can smell a bit of mint is that mint I don't know but I, I can't work out how to describe it's this lovely. one but I really it's like lovely. it yeah, Alan really likes this one too. I really like this. I'll just put the notes for it on the screen. I'm really impressed with this. How much are they? 120 for 60 mil. So this one, I think is our favorite. She came to stay and it smells really essential really. That's the only way I can describe it. I can't figure out how else to describe it. But it's really nice. Yummy, yummy. Mm. Yeah, it's a hot. 
a short video um but probably a good thing that i filmed it in december because it gave me something to edit today and just kind of get my toes back into this dip them back in um just with christmas and the new year with everything i just kind of needed to burrow away a bit I feel like a bit of a turtle and i went inside my shell and still now i'm struggling to come out of it I think this is a good step for me to do that. Um, so although it was short, I hope you enjoyed it. This year, I want to make really relaxing videos. I need that for myself. And I'm sure you guys would enjoy that too. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd say hello. And then bye-bye again. And wrap this video up and... I'll see you guys soon. Look after yourselves. <laughs>